What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Will. Uh, if this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button below. I would greatly appreciate it. So today I'm making a video about five things that I stopped buying uh, pretty recently. I'd say within the last year or two. These are things that, you know, I, I definitely spent a lot of money on in the past and I realized I don't really need them. I don't really need to buy them. They're not giving me any uh, self-gratification, satisfaction from buying these. So there's five things. Uh, I wanted to, to talk about these five things and, and see if any of you might buy these things right now and, you know, look at certain areas in your life on, you know, where you can cut back and uh, do different things and put your money in different places. So let's get to it. So first thing is shoes. Uh, I used to buy a lot of shoes. I used to buy sneakers. I used to buy dress shoes. Uh, I was big into Jordan sneakers. I used to have a lot of pairs of Jordan sneakers. Uh, as of today, you know, I have two pairs of sneakers, uh, a pair of shoes for work that are dress shoes, and then another pair. And that's and that's really it. I just wear those those four uh, sneakers pretty much. Uh, I realized that buying sneakers is something I used to enjoy, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really make me happy. Uh, you know, it's, to me, it's, it's something that you're not really getting return unless you're going to buy a pair of sneakers that, you know, maybe we're going to go up in value in the future. Uh, you know, a rare pair of sneakers, which people do do, and it could be a very good business, but just in general, just your everyday sneakers, your everyday dress shoe that you're just spending money on and you're never really going to get that money back. So I definitely cut down on shoes and, and bought less shoes. Uh, Number two ties right into shoes is clothes. Uh, I don't have many clothes. I got out of rid of a lot of clothes in the last couple years. I realized that, you know, I wear the same four or five t-shirts uh, in the winter time. I tend to wear jeans all the time or a pair of dress pants, uh, long sleeve shirt, coat, whatever. But I don't really wear that many different pairs of clothes. I realize that having all these clothes, uh, it's okay to have nice clothes. I think you know, you should have nice clothes. You should have a few pairs of nice clothes. That's totally fine. But when you go over excess with that, I think that's when it gets a little dicey and you start saying to yourself like, wow, I don't really need all these clothes. So cut back on the clothes. Uh, that's been a huge game changer. I've actually saved a lot of room just, you know, in my closet, uh, in my dresser of, of getting rid of clothes. So number two is clothes. Number three is coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker. Uh, Probably drank coffee every day since, I don't know, I was like 16, 17, 18 years old in high school. Uh, I used to order coffee out a lot. I love Starbucks. Uh, that's pretty much the only place I get coffee. Uh, and I also support, you know, local businesses that, that serve coffee as well. But I would say I, I go to Starbucks a little bit more just because I like the taste of the coffee. But the downside of that is, is when I go to Starbucks, I spend about anywhere from like 480 to 550 on a cup of coffee, depending on what state I'm in and, and the tax with that. It kind of varies depending on where you're at. But I realized I could be making this coffee at home. I could save on money. I go to the store, I buy grounds for coffee. I spend about eight to $10. Uh, that bag, you know, will get me, I don't know, anywhere from 30 to 40 cups of coffee. And I save a real lot of money with that. So. I cut back on the coffee. I still get coffee frequently, but there was a time where I was probably going to Starbucks like four to five times a week. So if you add that up, I mean, if you do that pretty consistently over a month, uh, you know, let's say you go five times a week and you get Starbucks, you spend five bucks just on average. It's 25 bucks a week, right? Times that by four, that's a hundred bucks a month. Times that by 12, that's $1,200 a year. Now, when you look at it in that sense, that's a lot of money, right? Now, what if you didn't do that and you took that, you know, thousand some dollars or whatever that amount is and you invested it instead, right? And now look at that money over, you know, a period of two years, three years, four years, five years, right? So I'm not saying it's wrong to get coffee, you know, every day, but, you know, do it, I think do it in moderation, right? But if it's something you truly enjoy and, you know, maybe that's something that you really only spend money on is coffee. Like you don't buy anything else. That's the only thing you spend money on, then great. But if you're someone who wants to cut back and look at their 
expenses and things they're spending on every month, then definitely look at what your coffee bill is every month because I think there's room for all of us to cut back on that. And then my next one is number four. So I used to buy a lot of plastic containers uh, for food. So I cook food a lot. Uh, you know, I meal prep every weekend, every week. And I used to buy a lot of plastic containers. So now I kind of cut back on that just to reduce the amount of plastic that I'm actually using. And I now use uh, glass Tupperware. So that's definitely beneficial. Uh, I'm not you know, I'm not throwing away plastic and I'm using this glass and I'm washing it. I'm, I'm using it over and over and over again, and I'm not spending money on plastic and I'm not hurting the environment. So it's a win-win in that situation. Uh, you know, I'd recommend any of you out there, you know, you're going to spend a few extra bucks to buy glass Tupperware, but in the long run, it's definitely going to save you some money and you're also going to help the environment. So that was number four. Number five. And the last one is cable. So um, I own a house now. Uh, I don't have cable. Uh, I do have Netflix. Uh, you know, I do have Hulu, but I don't really watch a lot of TV to begin with, but cutting back on cable, especially nowadays when you can stream a lot of things, almost everything, uh, cable is, is kind of a thing of the past. Now people are really cutting back on cable. They don't really need it anymore. I think in the next five, 10 years, you're going to see a even bigger transformation in how we watch things on TV, how it's streamed, and, and cable is really going to be a thing of the past. So those are the five things that I cut back on. Uh, shoes, clothes, coffee, plastic containers, and cable. So I took a look at my life, and I, I figured that those are the top five things that saved me a lot of money cutting back on. And I realized over years uh, of doing that, it's only going to propel me into a better situation. So those were the five things. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you could take something away from it and maybe look at your life, look at your expenses, look at where you're putting your money, look at where it's going every month and see in certain areas of where you can come back.